This is the story of building a pedal plane for my first and only grandchild, a boy named Lauren. He was born in February of 2017, which was about the same time I was finishing up the build of my Vans Aircraft RV-12 experimental airplane. I was looking forward to the day I could take him flying in my new airplane, but that would be several years down the road. Fast forward five months to July of 2017, I was attending AirVenture in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. If you love or even like aviation, AirVenture needs to be on your bucket list. It's held on the last week of July and generally considered the world's greatest aviation celebration. As I was walking around the vendor areas at AirVenture, I found a company called Aviation Products from Iowa. They were selling plans to build pedal planes designed for kids aged three to seven years old. They sold plans for several different models, but they had just released a new model based on the real airplane I had recently finished building. I decided that would be the perfect project that I could build for my grandson and I could paint it to match the paint scheme on my real airplane. Since my grandson was only five months old, I knew I had plenty of time. I decided to wait a couple years before I got serious about building the plane. I also considered building the P-51 Mustang replica, or the Piper J-3 Cub, or even an F-4U Corsair. But ultimately, I thought the RV model that would make... I purchased the plans at Oshkosh in July 2019 and started building in March of 2020, just after Lauren's third birthday. Since these pedal planes are for children three to seven years old, I didn't want to wait any longer. I also knew that if I really wanted to do a first-class job of building this pedal plane, it would take me a long time to complete. As I started purchasing all the wood and components called out in the plans, I realized that this would be a significant project. I also knew that in order to match the paint scheme of my real airplane, that would also take a lot of time. Okay, time to get started. The first thing you do is to build a few jigs. Jigs are just wooden structures to help you build some of the main assemblies, like the fuselage and the pedal crankshaft. Once the jigs are complete, it's time to build the fuselage, which must be perfectly straight and true. Of course, this fuselage will never fly, but it still needs to be straight, or all the future components will not align properly. Without getting into too much detail, you basically build the fuselage and bulkheads, then add the vertical and horizontal stabilizers. Most of the construction is done using wood glue and screws. In areas that need extra support, you add cross sections of hardwood dowels, which gives you something much more substantial than just the 3 8 inch plywood to screw into. I was very impressed by the design and construction. The wheel pants are created by gluing several pieces of 3 quarter inch pine with a 3 8 inch plywood on the outsides. Then it's a matter of cutting, sanding, and shaping to make them look like one solid piece. There's a very clever linkage assembly that you have to build which allows the control stick to steer the tail wheel. You also build a pulley on the pedal crankshaft which attaches to a pulley on the propeller shaft allowing the propeller to turn as you pedal. There are also several parts made out of steel or aluminum that have to be primed and painted. In terms of overall difficulty, I would say that if you have some basic woodworking and metalworking experience and the corresponding tools, you have a great chance of being successful. As I was building, the COVID outbreak was just starting, so I knew I would not be seeing my grandson for quite a while. This allowed me to take my time and work on it when I felt motivated. Overall, it was about a year by the time final painting was complete. For the paint, I used wood and metal primers and a lot of final sanding before applying the final colors. I used three colors and black pinstriping so it would match my real airplane. I also purchased some custom die cut lettering with several layers of clear coat over them to keep them from ever lifting. On the instrument panel screens, I put a picture of his mom and dad on one and a picture of me holding him on the other, just for fun and to make the cockpit feel familiar to him. 
After a couple years of waiting, he was finally able to come for a visit and see his plane. He's five years old now, and that was really a perfect age for his first test flight. Since I live on an air park, I was able to let him taxi out of my hangar, down the taxiway, and onto a real runway. It was funny, because right as he taxied onto the runway, he asked me, when can I go into the air? So I had to tell him I had just a little bad news for him. He immediately asked, what's the bad news? So I told him that pedal planes don't really fly. He took it very well and said, oh, okay, it's like a motorcycle. And I said, yes, exactly. I learned how to ride a motorcycle and now I'm learning how to ride an airplane. Isn't that great? Keep it coming. Good job. I'm going to be an air pilot when I grow up. Yeah. Going. Keep pedaling. Push hard on your. When can I go into the air? Well, well, I'll give you the bad news in a bit. Um, keep pedaling. You have to pedal the really. Bad <laughs> the bad news is this is a pedal plane. You have to just pedal all the way down to the end and all the way back. Okay, pedal. What you can't fly on it. Um. No, we only real parts can fly. This is a fun one to ride, so you can ride it around. Yeah, it's kind of like a motorcycle. Yeah, it's kind of like a motorcycle. We had a wonderful visit and Lauren loved his pedal plane. It was definitely worth the wait and because of the quality of this design, this will be an heirloom that will stay in our family for many years to come. But it will always read Captain Lauren. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time.